Hi everyone, I'm Alessandra and you guys are watching Sani Panini. Today we're going to make an appetizer, a sweet appetizer. We're going to make balsamic and honey glazed pears and we're going to put a little bit of goat cheese in it. So you get the nice cheese and it's going to start to melt onto the pears. It's going to be delicious. So what we have, I have two red pears. You can do you can do whatever pears you want. I just like the color red. And I was wearing this shirt today at the grocery store and I thought it mad. <laughs> so I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut my pear lengthwise. So, twist it like that, and then you're going to take your knife and you're going to kind of make a little circle around the seeds, like that, there's more, and then we're going to cut this part off, there. Just like that. Oopsies. So there's many ways you can do this. You can either make the balsamic and honey and stir it together, and so you can make it into, you know, can kind of marinate it, the pear, if you will, and then you can just put it on like that. Or you can do it just plain, just to let the sweetness of the actual pear, you know, show off, and then you can drizzle it on top after. We're going to do a mixture of both. So we're going to start out with two tablespoons of balsamic and then one tablespoon of honey. You can totally just guesstimate it. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And then you're going to stir it all together. Okay, so we're going to make sure our panini is on. We're going to do our first pair first. And then dip it in. Flip it around, dip it in. We want to make sure it gets into that hole, that little dent that we have. Then we're going to do it like that. Then, we're going to let these sear for about a couple minutes, and then we'll come on and check on them. Okay, so now we're going to check on these. And they're getting really cool grill marks on the top. Let's see if they're getting them on the bottom. Not so much. So I'm going to flip these all around. Drizzle some more of our sauce on it. Oh, for the glaze that we're going to drizzle on top of our pears, I'm going to add a little bit of more of the honey to make it sweet, sweeter. And then we're going to take our fork and kind of whisk it all together so that it's all incorporated. Take my spoon, scoop it down. The grill marks are becoming really amazing. It smells so good in here. So I can kind of tell that they're ready. So I'm going to open it up because there's beautiful grill marks. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to start plating it. Still has a little bit of that balsamic right there which is fine. Because now we're going to take some goat cheese. And I found these little pre packets of goat cheese and they are the perfect size. They're great for snacks. They're great for everything. Get it with crackers this because you're not going to use a lot of it. You're going to take it, you're going to put it in the middle, Okay, 
Okay. I'm gonna let these two grill on a little bit longer because they're gonna look as done. And then I'm gonna add this, which is a little bit more over. And you can see the honey made it a little bit thicker than normal balsamic would be. Doesn't that look so good? Now, my favorite part, I'm gonna taste it. I have a little bit of the balsamic, I have a little bit of the goat cheese, I have a little bit of everything in this bite. And that is so good. This was so good. It's perfect for any night of the week, and if you make it for your roommates, they will go crazy for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.